Okay, the first attempt at uh, spinning up the back wheels did not work. We used a little uh, motorcycle battery charger and I don't think it had enough amps to kick the motor in, into gear. So uh, I now have two 8 volt batteries, freshly charged, in series, so it's 16 volts, which is not much more than the uh, 12 volt bench test specification, so I think it should be fine. Uh, I'm going to try this again. When I hook this clip up to this terminal, we should see uh, the rear wheels move. And if we don't, uh, I'll be... Attempt number set. three. All right, so here we go. They really spinning? They moved for a second, and then they stopped. They stopped? Yeah. Well, the test that we first did where it looked like the wheel stopped turning and like it didn't work, we think was just because the differential was only sending power to one side. So um, I never actually paid attention to this wheel when I first attached uh, that first test. So I'm going to clip this on one more time, this time with only 8 volts, uh, just to make sure we don't overdo it. And uh, we'll see what happens. So here we go. This is officially test number three. She's spinning like a dream. Go. All right, um, the, the wheels were spinning, so that means the car will move. And I'm not going to go nuts here, but I want to see if I can get the car to move on its own power, uh, basically six feet to the end of the garage. So I'm going to do the same thing, eight volts, uh, leaning over into the engine compartment, and just see what happens here. So I, I hope I don't, I don't think I'm going to go careening down the driveway, but we'll see. <laughs> Ready? Here we go.